All right, team, I love me, me, me. Day five. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 5, 2017. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, team, I love me, me. So welcome back to day number five. We are plunging right on through this little Christmas holiday 2017. Okay, so the question of the day is, for what reason would a guy ask you for your ring size? Now, I would just have to just be plain Jane out there and just throw it out there. This one is really easy for me. He only asking you if he sees a future with you, if he actually is thinking about moving the relationship that much further ahead, moving toward a marriage or at the very least an engagement so he can still see what's going to happen right so you don't have to necessarily marry somebody that you are going to propose to but obviously that is where it is going hopefully he is actually buying the ring so he could seal the deal he want to take you off the market he don't want nobody else to get his goods he wants to let you know how serious he is about you and about your future together right so buying the ring you give him your ring size and you pretty much just wait don't ask no more questions don't even ask him why are you asking all of that now if you've done that then it's already over with but for others because i've actually had this happen to me and not from my fiance I'll go into that story in a minute but for others let's just say that you know a guy asks you for your ring size don't ask any questions you know keep that fantasy up here in your mind that way you're not um, putting pressure on yourself or putting pressure on him and then the next big uh, date that comes around whether it's your birthday or whether it's Christmas whether it's Valentine's Day you are automatically thinking that today is the day he's gonna propose because it really doesn't work like that take the pressure off of yourself if he asks you answer and move on because still even if he asks even if he take you to the store it still don't mean anything now I told you that I had a story behind this so right this guy that I met a few years ago, um, we were dating. We actually met online. I told y'all about online dating. Anywho, of course, all of them are not going to work out. So moving past that. So I met him online and we met, actually met New Year's Eve. And so he was my New Year's um, coming into the New Year kiss, right? He was very tall and dark and handsome. He was just like, I like him, y'all. He was just like, I like him, right? <laughs> Long story short, the conversation flowed well. We dated for several months, and he ended up, he was in the Navy, so he ended up um, being um, moved or stationed somewhere else other than here in San Diego. And we had talked about the possibilities of that happening. He really didn't think it was going to happen. I mean, maybe he was lying to me. I don't know, but I believed him when he said that he didn't think it was going to happen. And then all of a sudden, he was telling me one day that, guess what? I'm going up to Seattle. Anywho, so with that being said, we did long distance for another few months. Within that time frame, of course, we're getting closer. And he he already knew my standards because I put it out there in the very beginning of the relationship. I don't I don't hope I don't hope right. I make things known. Hear my bells. <laughs> Anywho, right. So with that being said. I went up there to visit him. I flew to Seattle to visit him. And uh, the entire weekend went great. Well, all of that is to say, I guess he put pressure on himself because I didn't say anything. I gave y'all, I, I did the advice that I just gave y'all, which is I didn't say anything. He asked me for a ring saw. I didn't say anything. He brought up marriage a couple times. I didn't say anything. Like, obviously, I answered questions and everything. But as far as, like, going further and further and trying to figure out where he was going with this, I didn't do any of that, right? Long story short, we went to the we went to the ring store. He found out my ring. Like we had spent hours in this store, and he was getting um like the, the loose diamonds, and he was talking about how to um like put them into you know whatever um ring set that I wanted. The look, blah blah. Like he like he went hand with it. He went hand with it, and all of that is to say, my sister. I came on back. We actually went to the ring store two days in a row. Now, different ring stores, but we spent this weekend in ring stores. So, of course, I'm geeked up inside. Of course, I'm geeked up inside. Like, oh, shoot. I'm about to get engaged. I'm about to get engaged. Right? But that's 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 my inside dance. That On the outside, this is how I was. Oh, okay, man. It's cool. This is cool. This is cool. Right? I'm asking more questions because now it seems to be even more serious. Right? We're going down that road. Long story short, hunty, I flies on back to San Diego, and that Negrachi never picked up the phone again. 
You hear me? Like, don't get me all geeked up. Let me come closer to this camera. Because if you're doing this, my brother, I want to smack the... If you listening to this, do I, I ain't even going to call you out. But if you listening to this, and you did this, this is just so ugly. Right? All of that sexiness that you had on the outside, I was just like, oh, you ugly now. Okay? <laughs> like, don't be playing with the girl's feelings. For real, for real. Like, don't do that. Because karma's a mother. And I really am engaged. And we are happy. And we have a baby. However, comma, I'm going to go back to your little ugly self. Like, don't be doing that. Taking the girl to the ring store, like, two days in a row for hours at a time. Only to not pick up the phone anymore. And then, when you did pick up the phone, like, two weeks later, you gave me some BS story about how they just miraculously scooped you up out of the sea and you couldn't take your cell phone. And I'm like, really, dude? Did you forget I was in the Navy? I mean, you probably could have said that story to somebody else who ain't been there, done that, but not to the girl. Like, so, anywho... If he's asking you for your ring size, there is a good sign that he wants to take it to the next level. I just will give you the advice not to ask any more questions other than the information that he has given you. Because even if he's asking you about a ring, he, he, he could. Like, he could be being dirty like the other dude and being dirty in the sense that he wants to keep you on the hook because maybe you told him about it, right? Maybe you told him that you were looking for this ring or marriage or whatever. You put your standards out there. He has no intention of doing them, but in order to keep you hooked for a little while longer, this is the next step. And um, just going back to my story and then I'm in this, which is to say that when I told all of my guy friends about this, they was like, he did what? Like, what? Like, they was even dumbfounded because they was like, men don't take nobody to the store that they not serious with. Like, we avoid the store. Hell, we even avoid weddings, right? So all of my guy friends was like, oh, this dude is a chump. He's a loser. Like, they, they was handling him with the words, right? And I'm going to keep clean here. But, um, yeah, anywho. So, honey, if he's asking for your ring size, just keep it on the positive. But as I said multiple times, just don't ask any more questions. Just let it flow the way it's going to flow. And if you are time, if you are past your time that you have given him to do what he needs to do, then it's probably time to make a decision. Because unfortunately, some men need for you to walk away in order for them to really see the value in you. You have to see the value in you. That's a different video. I'm going to move on. I love you guys. Thank you so much. If you love this video, definitely give me thumbs up. I'm loving my bells, as I said. Share it with all of your friends that need to hear this message. Don't forget that the playlist is in the description box below. If you need to send me questions, hit me up on one of my social media sites. And I will see you guys tomorrow. All right? Boop.